Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the People's Lima, episode 150, uh, breaking news, sad news, if y'all do not know this by now, Robin Williams has passed away at the age of 63, report says an apparent suicide, we don't know for sure, um, I'm sure all the news, all the information will be, uh, told to us as they gather it. Robin Williams, um, he impacted all of our lives in entertainment. He made us laugh. He made us, uh, you know, bust a gut. Dude was so funny, he was crazy and zany. I mean, star of stage and screen. Uh, made it big in Mork and Mindy. That's how it spin up from Happy Days. That's where he first debuted on TV. He was a mime. And then he debuted as Mork on Happy Days, where he's trying to kidnap Richie. Instead, the Fonz battled him, which I think was really fun. He was a warm heart, so funny guy. I don't know. I don't know him personally. I never met the, met him, but you know what? Uh, from hearing from other cele fellow celebrities who have worked with the guy, and I, you know, it just it just it's just shocking to me. I mean, man starred in uh, Popeye. A movie with Shelley Duvall, uh, Goodwill Hunting, Dead Poet Society, Mrs. Doubtfire, you know, Jumanji, the Night in the Museum series. It's just unbelievable. I just, it's just mind blowing. It's just, just, I can't believe it's happened. I mean, you know, he was he impacted. He was one of my favorite. He was one of my favorite actors and comedians. He was really funny. You know, really zany. I mean, he was on Hollywood Squares. He was, uh, you know, he was, you know, on Who Was Lying Is Anyway. I just, uh, I just can't believe it. I just cannot believe it myself. Man's a legend, and he will be missed. And, uh, man, it's really heartbreaking because the guy, we, I grew up watching this guy. I grew up watching him. He was totally hilarious, you know. He started in so many movies, like Death Too Smoochy, and, you know, I just, man, I just, you know, he was the voice of the genie in my all-time favorite Disney movie, Aladdin. I just cannot believe it. And he named his daughter after a game that he liked. It was The Legend of Zelda. And I think in his honor, us gamers will have to play the, the old-school Legend of Zelda. I don't know which Zelda he likes. He likes Zelda. He likes The Legend of Zelda. He named his daughter after him after the princess, and just, I just really am in shock, seriously, uh, I don't know what to say, man's a legend, and he was just, he was an awesome, awesome comedian, my dream of seeing him and Jim Carrey in the movie together will not be realized, unfortunately, and, uh, I'm sure, I don't know if Jim would have liked working with the guy, and I'm sure he would have, I'm sure, he, you know, Jim Carrey reminded so much of him, you know, but he was more rubber faced than Robin was. He and just, I just, you know, I thought the guy had it all together. Found like was fighting depression and all. You know that. You know, I think what kept me sane, what kept me from being depressed as well, is all of you viewers out there. You know, there could be a few trolls, like I said in my last video, but uh, out there to try to get to me, but they're not going to get to me because you know, you know. Anyways, let's go back to Rob. Robin Williams. Star of stage and screen. Mrs. Doubtfire was funny, funny in that. I mean, my favorite part is when he threw a piece of fruit at Brent Pierce Brosnan. And he said, I'm, she said, I'm sorry, sir, I'll run by fruiting. You know, and he was, hello. Just, he, was, he was totally hilarious. He was totally funny. And, uh, it's just, you know, he was hilarious. And just, and he started such funny movies as The Birdcage. And just, um, now I want to go out and find Mrs. Doubtfire because that's one of my favorite Robin Williams movies. I already have Popeye. Uh, you know, he started Flubber. You know, Robin, we miss you. We're gonna miss you, man. I mean, brother, you you've been an awesome dude. You rock. Um, personally, I uh, you know a big, big fan of yours, man. You're gonna be you're gonna be really missed, and um, the world loves you. You know. You know, when you see Conrad Jan Janice, uh, tell him I said hi. You know, I'm just, it was really sad, basically. He was, he was a real cool actor. 
and he was funny. And I don't know, I don't, I don't think, I, don't, I can't think of anything else to say. He's, he was an awesome dude. Robin Williams, we miss you. We love you. You inspire me to be zany and funny and be myself. And we just, uh, just to let, you know, like, man, guy, guy, uh, Robin, you were just an awesome dude on stage and screen, man. We're going to miss you. We love you. And um, in your honor, I'll play the old school Legend of Zelda. And just, you know, hopefully there's a comedian out there that could be as funny as you are. And have, almost had that same zany personality like you have. Hopefully that person continues the legacy where you left off. Who knows? Robin, we love you, man. Be cool, stay solid, my friend. Rest in paradise. See ya. I'm Eric Lima. That's my opinion.